Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to another glorious but windy winter's day. I hope you can hear me okay. Now unfortunately, as you can probably tell from the title, today is a video with some bad news and the bad news is that it is now time for me to part ways with my beloved, and I don't say that lightly, my beloved V12 7 Series. This car has just been the most wonderful thing I've ever had the pleasure of owning. And that's for an absolute plethora of reasons. It's been the most comfortable, the most hilarious, the most out there, and certainly the one with the biggest engine capacity. It's just been fantastic. I know lots of you watching are here initially from videos with the 7 Series. This car has been incredibly great for my YouTube channel as well, so I have it to thank for that. I do ask though that you don't go anywhere because just because this is going doesn't mean there's some other interesting stuff coming in the future, which there is. However, unfortunately, and the sad truth of the matter is that I'm not selling this car because I've sort of got bored of it or I just don't want it anymore. The fact of the matter is that I just can't afford to keep it. In an ideal world where money did grow on trees or YouTubers actually earn millions of pounds, I would keep this car forever because, well, there's just no reason to sell it. No good reason at all. It's super rare. So many great memories with it. And, you know, it's, it's one of a kind. But life is life, unfortunately, and that's just the way it is. It has to go. So, of course, that's very upsetting probably for you, but mostly for me. It's tenfold for me because I I'm the lucky one that gets to drive and enjoy and own this car and I'm going to miss that so, so much. But like I say, I'm not going to miss it too much because there's plenty of other awesome cars out there. And who's not to say that in the future when things are a little bit better financially, I might be able to get something like this or this very car back again, especially if one of you buy it. So I guess I've got a bit more explaining to do. We might as well as the weather's quite nice and the car is running so well actually take it out for sort of one last drive, I suppose. And I can talk to you whilst we do that a little bit more about what my decision process is. Cause I realize lots of you will probably be a little bit surprised and upset, but there is, you know, good explanations for it, unfortunately. So let's enjoy this V12 one last time on the channel. Although having said that, if the car doesn't sell, then we'll be seeing lots, lots more of it. Can I just point out actually as well, before we get in the car, it is muddy right now. You can see where I'm filming currently. We're in a farm. The car's muddy. Sadly, it's not been used for a couple of weeks, so I haven't had it cleaned. And so obviously before it gets sold, it's going to be fully cleaned and it will be looking at its best. So let's get in the car. Let's start it up and try not to blow anyone's eardrums and just enjoy it one last time. <laughs> I'm going to very much miss having a V12 in my lineup. Although having said that, I'm sure I will own a V12 again in the future. But there is just something very special about this naturally aspirated BMW V12 because that in and of itself is super rare. I mean, about as rare as a reliable politician, to be honest, really basically non-existent anymore. So it's going to be a real shame, obviously, letting this car go. But ultimately, life is life. I'm not TGE. I'm not uh, Shmi. I don't uh, seemingly have unlimited funds. I cannot afford to keep this car. I have bills to pay. I've got a credit card bill to settle. And this is the car that has to go. Uh, one, because it's probably worth most out of uh, the cars that I currently own. And secondly, because well, I've had this car the longest out of my current lineup and I have therefore exhausted most of the things I want to do with it in the sense of I've taken this on track, I've taken it on the Autobahn and sat at the top speed, I have slept in the car and straight piped it, done everything I could possibly have wanted to do with my V12 7 Series 
That's not to say that, like I say, I, I am sad to let it go. In an ideal world, I would never sell this car because I do realize that it has potential investment um, value. It, it's certainly not gonna go down in value a car like this, I don't think. And so in an ideal world, of course, I would hold on to this car forever. And it is just great for those occasional long distance trips you wanna take a few passengers uh, there's not a, there's not a better car for it even this will top the Range Rover for that uh, but that is the other thing to say of course I have got the Range Rover now which does most what of, of what of what this car does in terms of comfort and cruising and that sort of side of things so it makes less sense as well in in that sense to, to have this car too now as you can hear the car has still got my exhaust modification on it the straight pipe from the cap back however with the car i will include the original system it's literally the whole original system is just cut into two pieces so that could just be welded back on no questions asked and the car would be back to stock however i understand there's probably some people amongst the audience who might be interested in this car that would want it as it is with with the noise which i do strongly recommend because there's nothing quite like it i mean That sound, it's so addictive, so addictive. So it is how it is for now. Of course, you can change that however you like in the future. The other shame with selling this car is that, to be honest, it's probably in its best condition it's been since I've owned it right now because it has spent so much time down at RBM having everything fixed. Um, it's, it's crazy and actually when I looked at what I've spent on this car, it's uh, well it's over four thousand pounds and i've only owned this car what nine months if that about about nine or ten months i've owned this car since january at the start of this year and i've spent four thousand pounds on it and to be honest nothing has gone wrong on the car in particular these are all just preventative and additional things to just keep it at its best so a forewarning to someone who may want to buy this car Although I'm pretty confident that right now it's perfect, and it, I mean it is, uh, that's not to say that things aren't gonna go wrong anymore. I'm sure they will. And it can be quite pricey if you wanna keep on top of the maintenance, which I really recommend you do with a car like this. It served me well doing that. And I think if I'd let things slip, it wouldn't be in a condition to sell, let's put it that way. So I have spent a lot of money on the car, which is great for you, but also just a forewarning that it's possible, you know, it, it, these, these cars require constant upkeep and maintenance and TLC, and they're not really to be neglected. So I do want this to go to a good owner and a good home. Of course, someone who wants to enjoy the car, all the rest of it, that's fantastic. And if it happens to be one of you, my subscribers, that's great because potentially I can keep in touch with you and check how you're going. and. And, and all the rest of it. So the car will be up on eBay as an auction. In fact, it's, it's up now. When I sold my Z4 on eBay, it didn't go to plan really. The, the bidder that won it decided that they didn't want it, which is just really not cool. Uh, if you bid on a car, you are prepared to buy it if your bid should win. So please bear that in mind. Uh, but that really sucks. However, I'm gonna give eBay another go with this car. I just think it's the best way to offer it up to everyone. And of course, if you are you desperately want the car, I will happily speak to you or take offers and we'll have to work that out with the auction side of things. However, yeah, I'm gonna put it up as an auction because I think that is just the fairest way to, to let everyone have a chance at getting the car. You might be wondering why I'm not using collecting cars or an auction platform like that. Well, as a buyer, they're not the best because they charge a minimum of 600 pounds to you as a buyer's fee and in fact that is six percent so if this went for say ten thousand it's well six hundred pounds so it's a minimum of six hundred pounds so that's not great and also collecting cars didn't want to value this car at more than about five grand which i thought was a little bit unfair and potentially said they don't really understand what the car is so wasn't too impressed with them in fact they sold the number plate that's on this car v12 okay and i wasn't very impressed with them when they did that either so that's why i'm not using collecting cars i'm sure they're great and they work for lots of people they just weren't too fantastic with me so that's probably enough waffle check the ebay link there should be all the information you you need to know 
If you are really serious, do get in touch with me directly if you want to know anything else on Instagram, that's probably the best place, or drop me an email, hello at itsjoel.co.uk. In fact, that's probably the better place to get me if you've got quite a lot to ask. And along with that, I can send you some more photos and anything else you require. But I am sorry from the bottom of my heart for the people that, that love the content with this car that I'm letting it go. I, I mean, it's my fault really that I've spent so much money on different cars on that bloody Range Rover. And I've got myself into the position where it just, it needs to go from a financial perspective. I can't really afford to keep it. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. I'm not ashamed to admit that at all. That is just life. I think for most of you guys watching, that's the reality of life. We can't hold on to everything we love. We have bills to pay and we don't earn stupid money. So I do apologize to those of you that love the content, but just remember, it's 10 times worse for me because I love this car. It's my car and I love driving it and I'm gonna have to sacrifice all of that as well. Uh, it's a real shame because this thing truly is one of a kind. It really is one of a kind. So yeah, big, big sad face uh, for this video, but happy face because it's gonna allow me to keep the cars that I've currently got and also buy the car that I've always wanted. Maybe not just yet, but when the right one comes up, I, I do want to get that. It's another BMW and it's got a V10. I think most of you know exactly what it is. So do bear with me, stay tuned. We've got some exciting Porsche content coming on the way. Obviously we've got the Range Rover and that Mercedes. I'm still yet, I need to fit the new grill, uh, the Mercedes hood emblem, and I need to get some new wheels for that. So once I've done that, we'll get that filmed and I'll show you the Mercedes now when it's been restored to its former glory. So do stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Uh, any comments, any questions below. Let me know if you think I'm making a mistake selling this. I mean, I think I am making a mistake and I'll regret it. I just don't have any choice right now. So the only way around this is if someone spots me 10,000 pounds as a loan and I can keep this car. Comment below. Thanks so much. I'll see you all very, very soon. Should we do one last pull? Oh, that's not to say if the car doesn't sell, then I'll still have it. But this could be the last time for now we hear this. Oh, I'm gonna miss you.